Oh, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Messing around with this lots this last week. What I've done is got the frame somewhere near straight, I think. This is a bit of a job. I've bolted this, this stretcher in here with the pump on it. Probably someone with more exacting standards would make a new pump for this or even new frames or start again and use the wheel sets and the axle boxes or I don't know but I've got this bolted back in and when I did this the frame all went sideways out of square which is a bit of a problem because we had some tight spots all the way through um, still that's quite firm there it's probably a good fit and it doesn't move much this is the lift arm and we're probably going to live with it but these two bushes didn't quite line up and we've we've spent a fair bit of time straightening this out basically with a couple of blocks of wood clamped on the bench and a, another block block length of timber clamped on one end to straighten it up and get it somewhere so it's about square so I'm, I'm really pleased with that and as such we don't have tight spots now so that's really nice. Really pleased with the way that's come together now. So a bit of work there, but we've got a chassis that runs backwards and forwards. I'm probably not going to put the pump back together just yet. Uh, I bought 5BA bolts because they're much easier to do up than the little studs that it had in it. And discovered that the studs are eighth bit worth so the nuts don't screw on. So that's a job that I have to do is find some 5BA nuts somewhere. There might be some here I will discover over the course of the day. But at this point there isn't. These two were 8th Whitworth I think. And what I've done is drilled these a little bit braver drilling them through for the full length of a, a 5BA screw and tapped them out and tap put these in they went in nice and tight and they're in there now with a bit of Loctite they're not coming out again and I'm really pleased with the way that goes next job is probably to bolt the plain cylinders on here and get some straight edges and things and see if we can get some sort of a relationship to the top of the frames on each side I believe that the one on this side might be up a bit on the back and probably the one on the other side is down a bit if anything. One of them, if not both of them, isn't right. So what I'm going to do is strip the cylinders down and bolt them on and start looking at with a straight edge and seeing how they line up. So let's have a look at that. So these cylinders have had a bit of a clean up. They're they're nice and square and all the holes are nice and square the covers aren't interchangeable I believe that they've probably all got 8 Whitworth bolts in them rather than 5BA like the drawing says but that's not a huge deal um, up to not so very long ago when the internet happened getting BA bolts and, and the correct materials for the job was a little bit difficult and you sort of did what you could and I understand that and we'll live with it these have got separate plates uh, to space of plates because the castings obviously been a little bit in undersized and or or more likely they were castings that were used for something else as well and this was the workaround for it someone's made up these nice steel plates they're all nice and flat and they bolt between the frames and the cylinders so I'm going to bolt these on where they go sort of and set a straight edge across and get some sort of an indication of, of whereabouts they are and where they should be so these are bolted on just with two bolts at the moment nice and tight or, or snugged up 
the rest are just in there to sort of see and you can see all those bolts there they're just to to make sure that the, they'll go in after the hole or after they're tightened up so looking at this on this end of the cylinder block we're about 55 there and on that end of the cylinder block we're about 55 too that's not particularly accurate uh, there's a million variables for one this frames probably got a bit of this in it it sits fairly firmly on the plywood but that's as far as I've got with it so front to back it's probably 10 thou so you've lost a thou there maybe over this distance if we put that square on there that's nice and square both sides that way so pretty happy that there's nothing happening there the problem with this rig that I've got here which is basically just a piece of flat stock with a a one two three block on it to balance the the indicator and a cheap Chinese Noga arm and a cheap Chinese indicator the problem with it is that we can't really repeatedly flip it from side to side which would be really nice and there's not enough length out this end anyway to do that I've given these a rub with a, a file just to take all the burrs off them so it's fairly smooth front to back but what I'm going to have to do to get these aligned is just to move the indicator across onto this side and set it up independently so I've got a couple of one two three blocks and what I've done is just set these on here and made a a Joe block stack off the top of them and I know that this one is about 10 thou too low but it's parallel and that's something we can work with it won't come up 10 thou and this one might have to move 10 thou to match it so at this point we're going to say this is probably not far out this this surface front to back this one jolly humidity is killing my tools here Robin Renzetti if you're watching this I really need some precision ground flat stones so maybe I should just buy them from another manufacturer but now we're going with those anyway I can front to back that's not far out it's within a couple of thou and I, I'm pretty happy with that and it's within 10 thou of center which should be enough to make it work this side however is a completely different story really we're sitting there at about eight six yeah it's probably about six over zero we come up here we're about 20 28 over something like that about 6 over and about 26 over so front to back we're about 20 thou higher on the front um, that's not doing anyone any favors if we were to measure off these surfaces to to here I think we're going to find that this needs quite a bit of work so I'm going to mess around with it for a bit and put parallel across it and check it with the Joe block stack and see if we can get them somewhere near the same height and then check to see if we can get them straight front to back and we'll have another look so this is what I've ended up with what I've done is drilled these out a couple of numbers bigger I think they were about number nine drill and I've opened them up to about number five which is probably 20 thou and I've lifted this up about half that distance so 10 12 thou I've got a gauge block stack here and I've I've set this up here and we're getting a very within a couple of thou which is probably heaps good enough for this uh, in any four positions so or any of the four positions so I'm pretty happy with that it doesn't seem to be any bear burrs anywhere or anything I've basically use the Z squares and and big shout out to Stan Zinkowski here because none of this would be happening without him 
but what I've done is clamp them on and put a gauge block on there and check that angle and they seem to be pretty accurate this way too so I'm fairly happy with them I think that's gonna sort of do the job and I'm gonna call that a wrap for this video we've got this running pretty nice and we've got the cylinders somewhere in the same place on each side there's a few jobs to do uh, I guess before we really start banging it all back together it needs some gaskets probably it needs I've got o-rings coming and they haven't arrived yet for the cylinders and for packing there's a burr on there there's a little bit of a burr there and there would be nice to probably run a, a reamer through them I think they seem to have done a bit of work and they're a bit worn or whether they were bad to start with so probably just a break home would be the answer there everything runs backwards and forwards nice and we're ready to move on to the next stage so thanks for watching and be kind to each other don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff and more soon guys and girls